Little miss? Yeah, you're in a no parking zone. These are parkings over there. I'm oh, sorry. You're here to visit someone, right? Fine, thank you. Good. It's been a while since I've seen you. I well, we're thinking of relocating, so mm -hmm. you know how that goes. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to make a big change like that, but some people say it helps. So it's nice to see you. You too. Take care. Is anybody Pardon me. I didn't mean to frighten you. <laughs> the door was open. I'm sorry. I thought I thought nobody was here. <laughs> Neither did I. Uh, I saw your uh, for sale sign out front, so I just... Ah, yes, of course. I'm John Dodson. Hannah Sloan. 
Nice to meet you, Hannah. You too. I, I just, I love these old houses. Well, this one just needs a little help to bring it back to life. You know, the countryside is quite beautiful out here. Oh, I know. I, I actually spent a few years growing up here. You know, in my book, there's a reason for everything. Something must have brought you out here. I suppose. I just don't know if I'm ready to um, move yet. And this place looks like it needs a lot of work. Oh, I hope I haven't given you the wrong impression. I'm not so. No, 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 no. I'm just looking in on the place. Oh. But have a good look around. See what you think. Never know. Might just change your mind. Okay. Thank you. Supposed to be upstairs. What exactly did you expect when you hired Bruce and Bruce's moving and garbage disposal? <laughs> well, I thought that at least one of the Bruce's would have his shit together. Please tell me that this is gonna work out because I don't think that I can move again anytime soon. You think we made a big mistake, don't you? No. Come here. Of course not. It's a great house. It needs a lot of work. But you're the one who convinced me we had to have it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great. And expensive. You do think we made a big mistake? No. The hospital's close. I can continue my practice in Evansville. What? Do you think you're gonna be happy here? I think so. I think it would be a good change for me. For us. It's so good to hear you say that. stressed out you get about setting up your record collection, so I thought I'd give you a little hand. That's really sweet, honey, but um, you know, I got a really specific system for this whole thing, so. I know, alphabetical and chronological. Yeah, but there's also categories, so why don't you just leave and I'll do it later. Honey, I think we've lived together for 12 years. Don't you think I know your crazy ass system? I know it's anal, but it's kind of specific and it's exactly the way Alphabetical by artist then chronological, but grouped within that artist's particular style or era, unless it's someone like Ellington or Miles Davis, in which case it could have multiple sections, such as jazz, bebop, etc. Something like that? Something, right. Bad. <laughs> and a colossal nerd. You're a lucky girl. I'll make dinner. Well, it's okay. I'll cook. You stay here and finish up. You're gonna cook tonight? Yeah. I know it's been a while, but I just kind of feel like it. I'm not complaining.
smells great. To our new home. Better days ahead. Better days. Mm. That's delicious. Good. Pasta puttanesca. Means the horse pasta. Why is that? All the prostitutes in Naples needed something quick and easy to make. So voila, puttanesca. Mm, prostitutes. You know, you pretend to be such a well-educated, progressive man in the 21st century, but you're really just a one-track guy like all the rest. You wouldn't have it any other way. What is that? Sounds like nice. Lucky us. Great.
Hey, you okay? Mm, yeah. Yeah? Okay, think mm. you can sit up? Look at you. What happened? I don't know. I couldn't get out. The door's closed. I couldn't get out, and there was someone calling me down here. You must have been walking in your sleep. Where's all the water? Water. Hey, babe, do you know where that box of framed photos is? No. Do you know that all our phone lines are dead? So use your cell. I'm not getting any reception. Maybe you should go to the neighbors see if their phone works. Down the road, you really think they have that kind of technology? And maybe they can teach me how to make smoke signals. Just find that box of photos for me, all right? Yes, ma'am. Oh, we look so young in this. You look young. I look like a goofball. No. I would marry you all over again. All the money it's going to take to fix this place up, I don't think we could afford it again. Stop. Just grab another picture. It's so hard to get these things to sit perfectly straight. How about this one? It's OK, Hannah. It's just a photograph. I know. I think it's important for you to remember. He's not a memory, Graham. At least not to me. Okay, this isn't easy for me either, Hannah. We're here now, okay? You've got to accept it. Danny's not coming home. I want to try to start over. Nothing's ended, Graham. This is ended. Nothing is ended, Graham, so there's nothing to start over, Graham. He's gone. It's my son, too, and he's, he's gone. Just forget it. Just forget it. Hi. Hi. Listen, I'm sorry about... I know this place was too good to be true. What? Why? You've got dry rot. That's bad. It's not good. I still don't understand how the inspector missed all this. <laughs> Graham! Oh, my God! Graham? Honey? Graham, wake up! I need help. Please. Heck of a way to meet the new neighbors. <laughs> I just hope you can forgive us for not coming around earlier to introduce ourselves. Oh, no, no. We, we would have come by. I just as you can see, we've had our hands full. Well, of course you have. Yes, well, we just hope that you stick around, because not too many of the previous owners have stayed very long. In fact, the last people left halfway through the renovations. Never came back. Well, that's weird. Why don't people stay? Well, 
maybe we shouldn't be troubling you with it, but, well, I, I guess you could say the house leaves a bad feeling with people. Something happened a long time ago to someone who lived here. You know what? I don't really want to hear about it. Graham! I don't. Got her own problems. I'm sorry if that seems rude, but... No, of course not. Uh, let me explain. I was in a car accident, and um, our son, Daniel, uh, was very badly hurt. And um, he's been in a coma for the last year. I am so sorry to hear that. It's okay. That's okay. We're honored that you would tell us. Do you pray? No, not exactly. Uh, I do sometimes. We should pray for your son. Oh, no, Linda, let's not bother them. No, I, 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 I'd like that. Lord, we thank you for listening as we ask for strength and courage for Hannah and Graham in their time of need. And we ask especially that you bring your blessing to young Daniel, who needs you so very much, and so that this family may be made whole again. Amen. 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 Thank you. Now. I'll just fetch a bandage, and your husband will be as good as new. Oh, no. Please sit down. I can go get it. No, I insist. Just point me in the right direction. Oh, that's up the stairs and to your right. She's so sweet. should be going. Are you sure? We, we, we should be on our way. Come on, Ted. Well, thank you very much for your help. Oh, this is what neighbors are for. Yeah, just keep in mind that I've got nothing but time on my hands these days, so if, uh, if you need a hand fixing up the place. Thanks, Ted. I might take you up on that. Well, it was nice to meet you. Yes, bye. Thank you so much. someone in the closet. I tried it, but it's locked. It's locked. I could have sworn I heard someone calling from here. Sleepwalking is one thing, Hannah, but this is completely different. If this keeps happening, I've got to get you somewhere for proper treatment. No, I'm fine. Moving's just been more stressful on me than I realized. So maybe this isn't the right place for us. I'm not leaving this house.
I just can't stop thinking about today. It's okay, I survived, didn't I? I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. I don't think I can handle that. That's okay, Anna. I'm fine. It was just an accident. It's not just that. Today, today is you. It's everything. I know it must be hard. No, you don't know. You can know. Anna. That night. in the car with Daniel. We were having an argument. Why didn't I just pull over? Hannah. Yeah. Why didn't I make sure his seatbelt was on? <laughs> what was I thinking? Last moments I had with my son. Arguing. Arguing. Put the pills down, ma'am. No one's gonna get hurt. Where did you get that thing? My dad gave it to me. Found it in an old box downstairs. You put it away. Those things make me nervous. Oh, yeah? What if I have to shoot a bear or something? Well, you're the psychiatrist. Why don't you ask the bear if mauling someone isn't really just a cry for help from his emotionally repressed mother? Sure. Blame the mother. It never fails. Hey, I'm almost out of those pills. Didn't I just get them for you? I need some more. Do you know how much trouble I'd get in if people found out I was medicating my wife? It'll be our little secret. Mm. How are you doing this morning? Fine. Mm -hmm. How are you? Great. <laughs> No, I can't stay. I'm just dropping off a couple of things to warm the house with. Oh, that's so sweet. This is for your protection. Hannah, listen to me. Your husband may not want to know anything, but you should know what happened in this house. boy went missing from this house. Oh, my God. At the time, people said that something in the woods, something had snatched him away. What do you mean? Well, there's good in this world, and there's evil. And sometimes a door opens between them. And when it does, it's usually the evil that swallows the good, and not the other way around. Linda. Oh, good morning. I'm sorry to disturb you. No, not at all. You want to come inside and have a cup of coffee? No, I'm just leaving. Pop the pie in the oven at 350 for 15 minutes. It'll taste just like fresh baked. Oh, thank you so much. Hey, say hi to Ted for me, please. Mm, pie, I think you 
used to this country living. Even if it means hanging something like this on your wall? Uh, especially if it means hanging something like this on my wall. Want a bite of this pie? <sighs> I wouldn't want to offend the neighbors, though, mm. would we? Is it good? Just happy to lend the hand. Oh, great. Well, friends upstairs. Come on up. I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> the birds sing any better on a full stomach? <laughs> Uh, the squirrels will probably get most of it, with my luck. I'm going to town. Do you want to come? I could use a company. Oh, I don't think so. I I I've got my hands full here. Are you sure? It could be fun. I'm sorry. I just don't care for all the cars and all the people. Really, I avoid it as much as I can. Sure. Listen, Linda, I was wondering if we could talk a little bit more about the missing boy. Oh, I probably shouldn't have said anything. Ted's always telling me to keep my big mouth shut. No, no. I, I know you're just trying to help. I, I really shouldn't say anything more. I'm sorry. Sure. Well, maybe another time. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Bye. Bye. You and Linda seem happy. Oh, I knew she was the right one. We think the same way. I don't have to explain myself, you know? Yeah. I don't know I used to be like that. You two have been through a tough time. You should be proud that you're still together. How long have you and Linda been married? Oh, 46 years this fall. <laughs> we always thought that we'd have a big family grow old, surrounded by grandchildren. But that wasn't meant to be. We had to accept that. It wasn't always easy, though. Hi. I just need to take a look at some old newspapers, please. They're on delicate microfilm. And uh, you can't enter the viewing area, certainly, without a valid... Without a... Man, that's long. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Uh, it is Hannah Sloan. Um, here I am being such a prick. I'm sorry? Uh, Martin. Dawson. 
We went through grade school together. Nothing? That was a long time ago. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I moved away pretty young. Yeah, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, I'm sorry about that whole you need a valid card thing. You know, I'm usually not such a jerk. Maybe the odd Monday, the odd Tuesday. <laughs> it's all right. Somebody's got to enforce the rules. Uh, what brings you back to, to bustling Evansville? I don't know. I guess I'm trying to figure that out myself. Maybe uh, some crazy reason our, our, our paths were meant to cross again. I really don't think I could tell my husband that I dragged him out to live in the country because I was predestined to run into an old classmate. <laughs> no, no, yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's a, there's a wedding ring. It's, it's beautiful. Um, okay, you're looking for uh, newspapers. Yes. Yeah? Okay, come on, follow me. Um, just, I don't know, you feeling nostalgic or? Not exactly. We just moved in and uh, some neighbors came by and said that a young boy had gone missing from our house. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Um, hard to forget, really. There were search parties and everything. I know it probably seems morbid, but I, I just want to find out what happened to him. What you reading? Oh, some old newspapers. I'm just curious, I guess. Mm -hmm. If you really want to know what horrible thing happened, why don't you just ask Ted and Linda? I did this morning when Linda came by. Sorry, I just had to know. Let me guess. There was a group of shaved-headed, tennis shoe-wearing cult members that committed mass suicide. No. A little boy went missing. Yeah? An 11 year old little boy. His name was Daniel? It's. Uh, it's extremely weird. More than weird, don't you think? It says here that he was homeschooled and he didn't have a lot of contact with outside people, so there weren't a whole lot of suspects in the case. Don't see that? This is the found some of the boy's belongings in the shack behind the house. I suspect the boy might have been abused. Let me see that. Come here. Could be a rough start in this place, huh? We just flip it. No, no, no. No, absolutely not. Why? So you can stay here and figure out what happened to that kid? Well, yeah, I... It's important to me. You're important to me. And I'm worried about you here. You've been on edge ever since we got here. Now, I understood why you wanted to come back here. But you gotta feel safe in your home. So you can get better. I am better.
Traumatic anxiety. And you've had it for months now. Oh, I'm just really run down. Maybe those sleeping pills that you gave me actually worked. I could get some rest. Don't blame it on the pills. They don't work, Graham. I need something stronger. I just want to sleep like a normal human being. That's so much to ask. something. Look. Mom? Danny, what's he doing here? He's not here exactly, but he's close, on the edge. We'll ask him to come in. And we'll all be together. Mom? <gasps>
Hello? Anna Sloan? Yes, who's this? Uh, John Dodson. We met at the house some time ago. John Dodson? Hey, I can barely hear you. Listen, I need to speak to you. It's urgent. What? I'm, I'm sorry. I just the line. I... I'll come by today. Uh, this afternoon. Is that okay? Today? What? I can't hear you. Hello? Hello? Hey. How are you? Good. I, I just got a call. Really? It's finally working? Yeah, it was uh, John Dodson, that guy that I met when we first came by the house. What do you want? I don't know. He said something about coming by today. Why? I don't know. I could barely hear him. Goddamn phone company. Line's dead again. Uh. Hey, what's that? Oh, I found the shack. What shack? The one out back in the woods. These were under the trough. Really? Why made you look there? Well, I'm not sure. What do you mean you're not sure? Something must have made you look. Well, I don't know. I just had a feeling, I guess. Jesus Christ, Hannah. What? Why would you put up a picture of some kid we don't even know and there's boxes filled with pictures of our son somewhere in this house? I, I didn't put that up. No, of course you didn't. No, no. I did not put that up. How many pills did you take today? I swear, Graham. I didn't put that up. Good afternoon, Linda. Ted. Oh, hi. Good doing, Graham? Do you think that I could use your phone for a second? Phone company can't seem to get our line working. Oh, just help yourself. Oh, it's just inside in the kitchen. Give me the runaround, though. Oh, they're worse than the government. Yes, they are. <laughs> hey, why don't you sit and have a drink? Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. I'm really starting to think that house is cursed. Oh, it's okay. Hannah told me about the little boy who went missing. Oh. They never did find him. They think it was someone who knew the boy that was involved? Well, there was this teacher who used to come by from time to time to test him. He's a popular fellow, a bit of a loner. No one suspected him. Yeah, but uh, in the end, he pretty much confessed. The county would send out this Dodson to do the testing. What did you say his name was? Dodson. John Dodson. John Dodson's coming to my house this afternoon. John Dodson? Hannah met John Dodson when she first found the place. He called her today out of the blue, said he needed to speak to her about something. I should get going. I thank you very much now, for hold on me. there, Graham. I hope I'm not talking out of place here, but uh, is everything OK? I mean, with Hannah? Yeah, she's a little bit stressed out about the move, but she's going to be fine. Thanks. I, I really should get going. Thank you, Ted. Now, wait. There's something else you ought to know.
Good afternoon, Mrs. Sloan. I don't have much time. I've come to tell you about Daniel Jenkins. He needs your help. He's been waiting for you. What happened to him? You're getting closer to the truth. If you get too close, that which took the boy could come for you too. You should be afraid, Mrs. Sloan. Just not of me. I think you should leave now. Where did you hear about John Dodson? I'm sorry? Did you read about him in the newspapers? No, I, I met him when I first saw the house. I told you, what's wrong? John Dodson was Daniel Jenkins' tutor. Two months after Daniel Jenkins disappeared, John Dodson was found hanging by the neck in the basement of this house. That's impossible. He was just here. What's going on, Hannah? You just happened to find this house and you had to have it? Why? Not just any house, but a house where a little boy went missing who just happens to be the same age and has the same name as our son. What exactly is it that you're accusing me of right now? Because... Lying to me. Uh, or at the very least, you're not telling me something, so why don't you tell me? Ah. Uh... I don't know what's going on here, okay? I don't know. Why do you think that you care so much about a little boy that you don't even know? Daniel Jenkins needs my help. You have to believe me. He's been trying to reach out Daniel to Daniel Jenkins me. is dead. That is a fact. You need help. And I think that you are obsessing about a dead little boy so you don't have to face the truth about our son. The truth? What? Fa face the truth? What truth? Your truth? You know what? You haven't dealt with Danny's accident any better than I no. have, okay? No! Really? Should I put my faith in the insane hope that he's gonna wake up? Yes! That we're gonna live happily ever after? Yes! Is that so much to ask you? You know, you may have given up on our son, but I haven't. And I won't. Teacher suicide linked to missing boy. Teachers and librarians can't trust him. Oh my God, that's him. That's John Dodson. Are you okay? You seem a bit freaked today. Ah. Uh, Oh, uh, yeah, I just, I know there's more to this. I'm sorry. Oh, well, that's okay. Um, my uncle works in the sheriff's office. You know, I could make a call and try to get a copy of the police report. If it's not too much trouble, that would be great. Come uh, on, for you, it's no trouble. Okay. Thanks.
too, aren't you? I don't know how to say this, but I think you should leave that place. I can't. Not until I find out what happened to Daniel Jenkins. Anna, listen to me. Everyone has secrets. I do. I bet you do, too. And that house has secrets. But sometimes that which is not known is best left that way. Get away from there before it's too late. I can't.
If I can't be in this world, maybe you could come back to mine. I want you to be with me. very soon. I'll be waiting for you. He tried about. to kill me, Daniel Jenkins. He was here. Penny, it's okay. It's okay. That's just a nightmare. No, it wasn't a nightmare. It was real. It was real. And I saw Danny. Hannah, look at me. I saw Danny. It's over. It just seemed real. It just seemed real. You put the picture of Danny up on the wall. Remember? Thank you. Thank you. You're here now. Okay. You're here. You're okay. I'm sorry. No, no. Don't be sorry. Let's get you out of the tub. Let's get you out of the tub. His heart rate just dropped a little bit tonight, so I'm gonna go make sure he's okay. His heart rate dropped. Oh my god. Oh my god, what happened last night was real. Hannah, it was just a dream, okay? No, I know you don't believe me. I'm not crazy. You're not feeling well. You just need to get some rest, okay? I'll be back in a little bit. Hey, hi. Morning. Morning. Um, I'm just, I'm looking for Hannah Sloan. Have you, have you seen her around? She should be there. Nobody answering? Uh, no. Oh, well, I can pass on a message if I see her. Well, that's okay. I'm just, I just dropped something off. 
I know you. Well, I doubt it. I tend to keep to myself. I remember you. Uh, Edward. No, I just go by Ted. That boy who went missing. That was your son, wasn't it? You have a good day now. You'd best be going. Still a body and mind and evil hold apart your soul. Still a body and mind and evil hold apart your soul. Oh my god. This isn't happening. Down. I've got to talk to you. Are you okay? I'm freaking out. Ted and Linda are Daniel Jenkins' parents. It, it's, it gets worse. They abused him horribly. They tortured him, and eventually they killed him. Hannah, do you hear what you're saying? Yes. You're projecting your guilt about Danny's accident onto Ted and Linda. They didn't do anything. What? This has nothing to do with Danny. It says everything to do with Danny. This is your brain's way of coping with the fact that you're responsible for him lying in a coma. No, it is not. It has nothing to do with our son. You need to listen to me. Why won't you listen to me? Because you're talking nonsense. No, no. No, no, Graham. Graham. Stop it. I'm begging you. Stop it. Graham, do not open that door. Oh, my God. Graham, we need to talk. Yeah, come on in. Need to talk. Can I get you a coffee or a lemonade or something? Hannah, you stay away from me. Hannah, put the gun down. Get out of the way, Graham. This has gone too far, Hannah. Put it down. You killed that poor boy. Hannah, I didn't. Put the gun Don't down. do anything stupid now. You're sick. You're sick. Both of you are sick. I found the closet. I've seen the straps. I know what you did. How could you do that? How could you do that to your own son? I don't know what you're talking about. Be still a body and mind, and evil will depart your soul. Does that remind you of anything? You're not making any sense, dear. You abused him horribly. You're evil. The police were going to lay charges against them based on what Dodson knew, and then Daniel went Anna. missing, and Anna. Dodson was found dead. John. Dodson killed Daniel Jenkins. No, he did he not. He hung himself in the basement. They used to meet in secret. Why do you think the cops found all that stuff in the shack? Think about it. You go upstairs, you go upstairs, and you look in that closet, and you see those straps. Okay, okay. I have proof. It's a fact. 
Put the gun down and we'll go look. We don't need the gun to look, I promise. Okay? What choice did you have? I know, I just... <laughs> what have you done? Wish it didn't have to be this way. But you were protecting her. Graham! Graham, let me out! Graham! Open the door! Graham! Graham, Graham, Graham! Open the door, open the door! Hannah, I'm sorry about this, but you need help. You're sick. Open this goddamn door. Do it now. This is my fault. I should have made sure you had the proper treatment a long time ago. Graham, you can't trust those people. Oh, she's just gone completely off now. Isn't well, she used to be deviled. <laughs> I know that this seems wrong to you, but you have to understand we're doing this for your own good. Graham, you were right about one thing. Daniel was meeting someone in the woods. It was me. Poor woman. Oh, she's ranting. We met there one day, and we became friends. I, Hannah Sloan, solemnly swear to keep our friendship secret. I, Daniel Jenkins, solemnly swear to keep our friendship secret. We were best friends, but it was totally innocent. Oh, now, don't listen to any of this nonsense. The woman's possessed. Which is small wonder with all the pills she's on. Shut up, I want to hear this. Go on, Hannah. He always had these cuts and bruises. And he never said anything, so I never asked. And people just said his parents were really strict. And I guess they found out one day because he never came back. And I went there day after day waiting for him, and he never came back. I should have helped him. I didn't do anything, and I should have helped him. Why don't you tell me about this, Hannah? <laughs> I'm so sorry I wanted to. I didn't know how. I've never told anybody. <laughs> and I'm ashamed. Ashamed as you should be. You corrupted our son, you whore. It was innocent, you bitch! Oh, my God, you are his parents. I tried to scare her away. But she was the one who brought evil in this house in the first place. And now she'll pay for it. We tried to cleanse him, but it was no use. Open the door! Get out of front of me! Get out of front of me! No, no, no! What's happening in there? Graham? Oh, oh, here you go, please. No use hiding. You should not be putting your nose where it doesn't belong. You should just leave things as they be. One thing you don't know is that Daniel is buried down here, but you will be joining him soon enough. You shall be revealed unto me. I knew the police would be too lazy to do any real digging. But then we started to see him. He drove us out of our own home. 
physical child. And so you have been revealed unto me, so that you may atone for your sin. Oh, oh, please, please, please. Oh. Righteousness waits for no one. Oh. You tried so hard to make Dawson death look like a suicide. Dawson thought that he could interfere with our own oh. work, but he was wrong. Yeah. Oh. With a vegetable for a son, you would make a pretty believable suicide, wouldn't Let me you? Go. Be still. Tight enough? How could you do that to your own son, you bastard? Daniel was the old savior, thanks to you. It was a terribly hard thing to accept, but once we realized that there was nothing else we could do, we put him in a bath to cleanse him of his sins and held him under. <laughs> you said it was Angus and he never did anything, you sick prick! Well, now you and Daniel can play together in hell. Where's Hev? Face to face with a holy vengeance, just as you will be soon enough. Linda. It's not your fault. Ted's a very strong personality. But you're your own person. Uh, him off and get out of here. Be still upon your mind and evil will depart my soul. Edward! You devil child, you will be punished. Sweetie, I'm not mad at you. I can't leave. Yes, you can. I'm not allowed to leave the property. Your parents are gone now. They can't hurt you anymore. Where is Danny? You should go to him. He needs to see you. Oh, Danny. Danny, Graham, are you, are you all right? Danny, we have to go to Danny. We have to go to the hospital right now. You have to trust me. Trust right you. now. I trust you.
I can't be in this world. Maybe you could come back to mine. I want you to be with me. It's okay, it's okay. That's just a nightmare. No, it wasn't a nightmare. It was real. It was real. And I saw Danny. Hannah, look at me. I saw Danny. It's over. It just seemed real. It just seemed real. You put the picture of Danny up on the wall. Remember? Thank you. Thank you. You're here now. Okay. You're here. You're okay. I'm sorry. No, no. Don't be sorry. Let's get you out of the tub. Let's get you out of the tub. Hey, hi. Morning. Morning. Um, I'm just, I'm looking for Hannah Sloan. Have you, have you seen her around? She should be there. Nobody answering? Uh, no. Oh, well, I can pass on a message if I see her. Well, that's okay. I'm just, I just dropped something off. 
I know you. Well, I doubt it. I tend to keep to myself. I remember you. Edward. No, I just go by Ted. That boy who went missing. That was your son, wasn't it? You have a good day now. You'd best be going. Still have body and mind and evil will depart your soul. Still have body and mind and evil will depart your soul. Oh my god. This isn't happening. talk to you. Are you okay? I'm freaking out. Ted and Linda are Daniel Jenkins' parents. It, it's, it gets worse. They abused him horribly. They tortured him, and eventually they killed him. Hannah, do you hear what you're saying? Yes. You're projecting your guilt about Danny's accident onto Ted and Linda. They didn't do anything. What? This has nothing to do with Danny. This has everything to do with Danny. This is your brain's way of coping with the fact that you're responsible for him lying in a coma. No, it is not. It has nothing to do with our son. You need to listen to me. Why won't you listen to me? Because you're talking nonsense. No, no. No, no, Graham. Graham. Stop it. I'm begging you. Stop it. Graham, do not open that door. Oh, my God. Hey, we need to talk. Yeah, come on in. Need to talk. Can I get you a coffee or a lemonade or something? Hannah, you stay away from me. Hannah, put the gun down. Get out of the way, Graham. This has gone too far, Hannah. Put it down. You killed that poor boy. Hannah, they didn't. Put the gun Don't down. do anything stupid now. You're sick. You're sick. Both of you are sick. I found the closet. I've seen the straps. I know what you did. How could you do that? How could you do that to your own son? I don't know what you're talking about. Be still of body and mind, and evil will depart your soul. Does that remind you of anything? You're not making any sense, dear. You abused him horribly. You're evil. The police were going to lay charges against them based on what Dodson knew, and then Daniel went Anna. missing, and, and Dodson was found dead. John. Dodson killed Daniel Jenkins. No, he, he did not. He hung himself in the basement. They used to meet in secret. Why do you think the cops found all that stuff in the shack? Think about it. You go upstairs, you go upstairs, and you look in that closet, and you see those straps. OK, OK. I have proof. It's a fact. Put the gun down, and we'll go look. 
You don't need to come to work. I promise. Okay? Okay? No, 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 no! Please, 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 please! There's a medical kit Graham, in my desk. Please Graham, call. listen to me! Graham, listen You're to me! You have drawer. to believe me! You have to believe me! Let me go! Please, 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 Open please, please, please! Take please. the syringe out. Let okay. me go! No, no, no! Let me go! Let me go, please! What choice did you have? I know, I just... I want to be that... I wish it didn't have to be this way. But you were protecting her. Graham! Graham, let me out! Graham! Open the door! Graham! Graham, Graham, Graham! Open the door, open the door! Hannah, I'm sorry about this, but you need help. You're sick. Open this goddamn door. Do it now. This is my fault. I should have made sure you had the proper treatment a long time ago. Graham, you can't trust those people. Oh, she's just gone completely off now, hasn't well, she? She's bedeviled. <laughs> I know that this seems wrong to you, but you have to understand we're doing this for your own good. Graham, you were right about one thing. Daniel was meeting someone in the woods. It was me. Poor woman. Oh, she's ranting. We met there one day, and we became friends. I, Hannah Sloan, solemnly swear to keep our friendship secret. I, Daniel Jenkins, solemnly swear to keep our friendship secret. We were best friends, but it was totally innocent. Oh, now, don't listen to any of this nonsense. The woman's possessed. Which is small wonder with all the pills she's on. Shut up, I want to hear this. Go on, Hannah. He always had these cuts and bruises. And he never said anything, so I never asked. And people just said his parents were really strict. And I guess they found out one day because he never came back. And I went there day after day, waiting for him, and he never came back. I should have helped him. I didn't do anything, and I should have helped him. Why didn't you tell me about this, Hannah? I'm so sorry I wanted to. I didn't know how. I've never told anybody. And I'm ashamed. Ashamed as you should be. You corrupted our son, you whore. It was innocent, you bitch! Oh, my God, you are his parents. I tried to scare her away, but she was the one who brought evil in this house in the first place. And now she'll pay for it. We tried to cleanse him, but it was no use. Open the door! They're gonna run you out of the house! No, no, no! What's happening in there? Graham? Keys, here you go, Keys. No use hiding. You should not be putting your nose where it doesn't belong. You should just leave things as they be. One thing you don't know is that Daniel is buried down here, but you will be joining him soon enough. You shall be revealed unto me. I knew the police would be too lazy to do any real digging. But then we started to see him. He drove us out of our own home, miserable child. 
And so you have been revealed unto me, so that you may atone for your sin. Oh! oh please, wait! Please! Oh. Righteousness waits for no one! Oh. You tried so hard to make Dawson's death look like a suicide! Dawson thought that he could interfere with our own oh. work, but he was wrong! With a vegetable from a son, you'd make a pretty believable suicide, Let wouldn't you? Go! Be still. Tight enough? How could you do that to your own son, you bastard? Daniel was beyond saving, thanks to you. It was a terribly hard thing to accept, but once we realized that there was nothing else we could do, we put him in a bath to cleanse him of his sins and held him under. <laughs> you said it was Amos and he never did anything, you sick prick! Well, now you and Daniel can play together in hell. Where's Hev? Face to face with a holy vengeance, just as you will be soon enough. Linda. It's not your fault. Ted's a very strong personality. But you're your own person. him off and get out of here. Be still! A body of mind and evil will depart my soul! Edward! You devil child! You will be punished! Sweetie, I'm not mad at you. I can't leave. Yes, you can. I'm not allowed to leave the property. Your parents are gone now. They can't hurt you anymore. Where is Danny? You should go to him. He needs to see you. Danny. So Danny, I'm so sorry. Graham, are you, are you all right? Danny, we have to go to Danny. We have to go to the hospital right now. You have to trust me. I trust right you. now. I trust us now. Stay with us.